Hey guys, thanks for joining me today for another segment of Making Your Dreams Come True. And today's guest is none other than Sean Phoenix, Rascal family member. Thank you, Sean, yeah. for agreeing for the interview. Thank you. It is such an honor to be part of this video on your channel, Mama. Thank you. And I'm hoping that your own personal walk will encourage others to do the same. I'm really proud of you. You're going about uh, studying and taking classes and just doing all that you can do where you are to realize your dream of becoming a voice actor. And I want you to share your story and hopefully others will be inspired to do the same. All right. So my, my first question is, when did you realize voice acting was something you wanted to do as an adult? When I realized I'm um, doing voice acting, what I wanted to do as an adult, I realized it back when I was, you know, in junior year of high school and how much, you know, the voice acting behind on anime and cartoons and, of course, the person who was a legendary voice actor and that is Steve Blum. Absolutely. And he is well known for so many things, but I'm going to mention Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Because that's one of the greatest voice acting roles he's ever done. And I think that's probably his most notable role. So what about his performance made you decide that this was something you would take joy in and love to do? His performance behind every single voice that he does makes me really want to, you know, be embodied with that character. Like, he says you have to be, you know, embodied with the character. Like, you feel how they feel while playing that character and that you feel connected with that character and what they've been through as they grew up. That does sound important. That's probably why so many people connect with the characters he's voiced. I know, you know, uh, connecting is really important so that you get a very good experience when you're watching any type of anime or animated series. And I know with Spike, so many people did connect with him. So that makes a lot of sense. So tell everyone about the course or class you took with Steve Blum. Was it last year? Yes, it was last year, and I took it on Blumbex, and it was on the website. And when I found out about it the first time, I'm like, a class about voice acting taught by Steve Blum. I'm in because, you know, half of the, you know, cast members from other shows like Tom Kenny, who's a voice of SpongeBob, mm -hmm. and Critical Role from, you know, and critical role as well, like Matthew Mercer, Laura Bailey, and so many more have also been part of it and taught every, you know, people about what it means to be a voice actor. That's awesome. So can you give listeners just the, a small idea of what it is that you did during the class? A small idea I did give was how I can do impressions on other characters from my favorite shows. So what did you learn from Steve Blum? Were a couple of, besides the one point you gave, which is excellent, did you do any exercises or did you just really listen to other voice actors tell you about their experience and giving you advice on how to be a voice actor? Yes. I did listen to his advice saying, if you, you know, choose you know you were auditioning for and make sure you read what the character is first so that mm -hmm. way you can know their personality and how you can connect with the character's personality more and you have to sound either nice tough or anything mm -hmm. that way that person can sound just exactly how you imagine okay and has that helped you in the videos that you make on your own channel called Shinigami Phoenix and he's got some really awesome videos you should really take a look if you're not watching them you're missing out has that advice been helpful for you when you're voicing characters and making your own videos on your channel yes that really does you know help like whenever you know there's a character that's either a good person or an evil or a mini <laughs> then I have to choose another character that you know would the perfect role for that mm -hmm. and that way they can connect with that character and you do have some awesome casting choices for a lot of your videos some of them I'm always amazed like how did he come up with that or oh my gosh this is perfect 
So you can definitely see your natural talent is integrating with the lessons you're learning from the class. So that's awesome. Now you mentioned on Twitter that you may be taking another class this year with Steve Blum. Yes, I'm, I'm definitely going to take another class with him because I need more experience so that way I can become a professional one one day. And of course, I'm going to work for Rascal Entertainment's one day. And of course, I am coming up with my own series, just like Critical Role did. Yes. And I know you've been sharing information with Rascal on that, which is really awesome. And again, I hope you inspire others to do the same. You don't have to be a professional to begin going toward and moving towards your dreams. So quickly for the Steve Blum class, if anyone else is interested, can you tell them how they can get involved, approximate cost and approximate length? Yes, you can. This is our and of course, you can take it for a monthly or a year, whatever you decide. Oh, okay. Is it affordable, would you say? Yes. The month one is affordable, but if you take the year one, then it costs more. Okay. Well, if you could do a favor, and when this video is up, just put a link um, below to anyone who wants to find out more information or actually sign up for the class. That would be awesome. Yes. So you I definitely would love to do that. Great. You mentioned Matthew Mercer, Laura Bailey. I know you love Travis Willingham. I know that you love them. And as it, if you're watching, you can see on the screen, we've got this great picture that Sean made for us. So we can see the total cast of Critical Role. How exciting was it for you when you found out that they were going to have this prime series for Vox Mach? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now I have another picture here of one of your all-time favorites, Johnny Young Bosch. Tell me how he has influenced your decision to become a voice actor. Johnny Young Bosch inspired me ever since I watched him on Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin all the way to Turbo, but before he went on to anime, and my most favorite roles from him are Ichigo Kurosaki. Oh yes, we know how much you love Ichigo, and he's fantastic at every voice I've heard him do. I've recently been watching older anime like Code Geass and just amazed when I hear him in these roles because I'm not as familiar with him, and it's like he always makes every role perfect, and somehow he makes every role his. How will that impact you when you're doing your voice acting um, for anime and animation? Well, I'm really happy character that I really connect with. Like, Johnny on Bosch has mentioned that he really connects with Ichigo's tough high school personality, you know, the angry one. Mm -hmm. And of course, he played so well that he almost lost his voice while doing something for Ichigo before he almost transformed into a hollow. And he has such a range. He's done so many different types of characters. Uh, and everyone he, as you said, he embraces and makes it his own. And you fall in love with these characters. You really like them. Even when they've been characters that aren't confident and have issues or working through you, somehow still end up loving the characters that he voices. So he's got a gift truly for making them his own. Exactly. Now you have a picture also you've, posted of Matthew David Rudd. Can you tell us more about him? On Matthew David Rudd, the way I love his performance as Panda and Fujio Uzaki from Uzaki, Sean wants to hang out in Jujutsu Kaisen, mm -hmm. which is good animes to watch. Yes, definitely. <laughs> the way he embodies the character Panda, it's on Twitter that he mentioned that both of those roles are his most favorite that he's done. Awesome. And I saw that you made a post, and he actually responded to your post. How exciting was that? <laughs> it was it was very exciting when he commented on that. And I felt so honored to, you know, be interacting with him. And, you know, him telling me that he loves doing those roles a lot. 
So what are some of his other roles that he's famous for besides Panda? Uh, he's also done some My Hero Academia characters, mostly the villains, and he was in One Piece. He played, I think he played one of the marine characters who's new and is in the new arc that's, you know, from the time skip. Oh, okay. Yes. So what do you think you can take from his experience to help improve your own voice acting? On his experience, he did mention to me that the way you play the character is how how much you really feel about the character and how you, you know, and the way the character looks is that maybe you can do a really good voice impression. Like, if it's a male character and if it looks like a tough guy, then you should now sound tough. But if it's a softer animal character, then sound something cute or soft or anything or funny. Okay. Now, the last picture that I have showing, I'm not sure whom this is. Can you tell me he's got a suit and tie on? Clean cut, handsome guy. That's, Chris, that's Christopher Corey Smith. Okay. And what roles is he most famous for? So, in case those of us who aren't familiar with him. He's most famous for Gogenberg in Sakuka, the underrated Mecha anime. Okay. He was also best known for voicing many Bleach characters, including Rose, the, I think, Bookweiser character, yeah, Rose. Yeah, I do see that character on here. He also voiced Kitten in Gurren Lagann as well. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely know that character. Awesome. Yeah. So what about his performances drew you to him becoming one of your favorite? The way his performances, like, he sounds like he's having a really fun time and acting like a comedian guy. Well, that's really important. You, you should love what you do. If not, you've got to start doing something else. So, uh, yeah, I think that's really important, and I can understand how that would make him a favorite. You love hearing people enjoy what they do, especially when you've got voice actors. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you much, much success in your journey. You have a fantastic voice, and you really have been loving this media, I should say, for quite a long time. So... I really wish you the best. And if you haven't visited Sean's channel, it's Shinigami Phoenix. You can see it there on screen. He has tons of videos right now, 75, that he's put up. And they are hilarious and inventive and creative. And you won't be disappointed that you visited his channel. So what is a final thought you would like to give anyone who wants to be a voice actor as well, who may be thinking, you know, I don't know if I can do this, who may think that they have to have a lot of clout or a lot of experience, what would you say to these people? But what I would say is that you can do and try your best you can. It doesn't always have to, you know, be, you don't always have to be a professional at first. Mm -hmm. You just really need to embody that character on the character that you voice in your upcoming series one day. Or when you become one, a voice actor. Like, be very confident in yourself. Always be confident. Don't always let people, you know, choose your career that you want. Mm -hmm. Do what you want to do. So, thank you for joining us. If you would like to be featured on a segment, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. As well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Thank you so much for watching, and once again, Sean, thank you for joining me. This will be on here. <laughs> and of course, we'll be talking to you soon. And right. continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time.